Okay, so here's one group uh, data. So again, the protein concentration is 1684210 microgram per milliliter. And for this group, their OD measurement for those samples are 0 0.6, 0 0.4, sorry, 0 0.3, 0 0.1216, 0 0.07, 0 0.03, and 0. That's the blank. So those will be the number we are going to use to generate the standard curve. And you can you can select them. Uh, I, I'm going to use the mouse. I can highlight them and then click wrong, and those lines will be wrong. So okay. So how do we plot them? In R, we just plot those those numbers are called concentration, and the bottom are called OD. So I just plot concentration over OD. The OD will be the x, the horizontal axis and the uh, concentration will be uh, y that's the vertical axis and you can ignore that that basically is setting the the area of the plotting the range of x and range of y so i'm going to highlight this line and click wrong there uh well that's the well more or less linear it's just the last point a bit high don't worry about that that's happened quite often and think about this is our first experiment so that's pretty good linear anyway so all right so we're going to fit the line through the stops so i'm going to use a command called ln which is a linear model i'm going to fit again y over x concentration is y od is x so that's going to yeah that's all the magic is done by r behind the scene so how do i find out the linear fitting i just run have and there that's your fitting so remember the line is the has a slope and the intercept so this is the y this is your od is your x so the od the 32.3666 that's the slope for the od value and the intercept here that's basically the intercept on the vertical axis that's minus 0.206 so in your moodle lab report that's the number you need to input okay so, well, that's so far so good. We have not put the linear line on the plot. And the way to put it on the plot is called AB line, up line. So basically, this, uh, I'm going to highlight this line and then click run there. That line is magically put on the plot. So, now if you have done some physics experiment, you, you, you know every time you fit those dots, with a linear line, there's many measurements you can measure how good it, how linear that line is. One measure is called R square and the p-value. So in R, you can see those number called summary. If you type summary there, oh, this one is actually 91.8% accurate. So that's pretty good. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't, it's over 90%. It's still very good. So, and it's highly significant. That's a very small p-value. And those are just some other things you can look at the R to see exactly how the model is fit. But I mean, I, I'm going to skip over. If you, some of you are, are more into programming, you can read into it. For now, I'm going to skip over it. So now it's our turn to calculate the end node. How, how do we find the end node? We, we just fit that linear uh, equation. We just, then we just put the equation on the end node. We can calculate the, the concentration. So here's the unknown. The unknown had an OD of 0.215 for this group. How this basically is that equation. So the M coefficient, uh, M coefficient, that's basically the first one is the intercept. The second one is the slope. That's here, here at the bottom. So that's what I put it here. So the first one is the intercept. The second one is the slope. But what I want to find out is the the y value for the unknown od the n so i put the unknown od which is x here and then i'm going to what i got is the concentration for the unknown right so there i highlight this line wrong wrong and that's it so this is going to give me the unknown concentration in fact this time it's called 6.75 and we can also put this unknown on the plot there right there so so that's the, the blue dot is uh, our unknown. It had an OD 0.215 with the concentration estimate about 6.75 microgram per microliter. Now that said, this is the 
unknown concentration in the Q vat. What's your concentration of the original unknown? You need to estimate that. Remember the original one you, we took is we, we took 50 microliter and we put it into 1000. So how many fold dilution is that? A thousand times 50, we, did, we actually did a 220 fold dilution. So your original concentration should be this unknown concent, uh, so your original unknown is actually your, your unknown concentration in the Q vat times a thousand divided uh, by 50. This is actually your original unknown. So if I run that, yeah, your original unknown actually should be 135 microgram per microliter. That's actually that. Okay, so 